Hello Internet. In this video, I will show you how to create a Bethesda USB that you can plug it into any old laptop and turn it into a retro gaming machine. Bethesda is a Linux distribution. Bethesda Plus are the images available online that comes preloaded with the ROMs. You can also find the Bethesda HDD on this drive from AliExpress. All you have to do is to search for the Bethesda HDD on the on AliExpress. These are also available at Amazon, but the price is, of course, a bit different. The method I'm going to show you is just to download the Bethesda Plus image and write it on a USB. There are many places where you can find the Bethesda Plus image. Unfortunately, I cannot share any websites with you or any link. You can also download the official Bethesda distribution from their website and then copy your ROMs on it. There are many videos on it, on YouTube that shows that. So the one that I've downloaded is from a, this website. You can download a different sized image. They all come prepackaged with, with some select ROMs. So let's start. The application I will use uh, to write the image it's called Vim32 Disk Imager. You can use other softwares like Billing Nature. If you have Google Drive installed, make sure to quit the Google Drive. Second thing to ensure is that you have connected the only one USB that you're going to use for the write the image and note the drive letter. And the Vim Imager shows the same drive letter. Once you will write the ISO image, it will erase all the data from your USB. Now I'm going to select the image that I want to write. And then I'll click write. On the, here's, a, here's a warning that this process can corrupt the device. There is a slight risk, but we are going to click yes. And the process will start. So. I'm going to speed up the video here just so I can capture the process. It may take a while depending on the size of the image you are trying to write. There are different sizes available, right from the 14 GB all the way up to 1 terabyte. getting there okay so the image writing is almost done you will get this message that write is successful now let's take the USB to the old laptop and see what we got Okay, so there's a very old laptop, Samsung SV511. I will start the laptop and press the F2 key as soon as the boot screen appears. So I'll go to the BIOS setting and I'll show you the configuration on this laptop. Okay, here you can see it's a very old Core i3 M380 processor with just 4 GB of RAM, 2.53 gigahertz speed. So we are going to set the boot options here so it can boot from the USB. That's usually found in the boot device priority. As you can see, it is set to start from a, a real like NVMe. That's my USB external hard drive so you can save the settings and exit the bios and wait for the better server to load mm. 
I'll connect my controller to the laptop so it's easier to play the games and configure Betocera. Here's the screen Betocera Plus is loading. Here you go. Your retro gaming PC is ready with Betocera. So the image I downloaded came with quite a few ROMs and systems built in. So after the splash screen, that's the interface you're going to see from the Betocera. I'm going to configure the controller. So as you connect it, the Betocera system will detect the controller and then it will ask you to configure it. It's quite a simple process. If you have great games, you can easily back the keys. All the buttons. I don't have any analog. Part key will help you quit the system, quit the game and come back to the main screen. So there it is, all the system on your right. If you click the system icon, it will take you to the list of the games that are available here. So let's run a game for the demo purpose where the game is loading there you go i hope you enjoyed the video if you did press the like button and subscribe to my channel